Welcome to another tutorial brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to set up a multi-field search form so you can look for records in your Access databases. This is an intermediate level tutorial. You should know how to build basic tables and forms and queries. However, this lesson will contain no programming. In today's lesson, we'll start out with a customer table with a bunch of different fields, first name, last name, city, and state. We'll build a form with multiple fields on it where we can type in whatever records we want to search by. For example, show me all the Smiths from Buffalo. And we'll also say do not use first name or state as a criteria if those fields are left blank. And then we'll make a button to show us the results in a query. And of course, you can use this query to build a report with. In today's tip, I've got a customer table with a bunch of customers with some different fields. I've got first name, last name, city, and state. And I want to be able to generate a report showing just the customers that I select based on any of these criteria. So I might say, show me all the customers from Buffalo or all the customers from Buffalo with the last name of Smith. But I want to make a form that's got parameter text boxes for each of these fields. And if I leave one of these fields blank, I want it to assume that I want all of that value. So for example, my form will have first name, last name, city, and state. But if I leave state blank, I want it to assume all of the states. So let me first set up a form with my different parameter fields on it. I'll go to Create and Form Design. I like to build my own forms. Now, this form itself will have no data in it, but I want to put four unbound text boxes on it. So here's text boxes. Drop one there. And I'll just copy and paste it four times. Copy, paste, paste, paste. All right, so I've got four unbound text boxes. All right, I'll just set up the label. So I've got first name. I've got last name. I've got city. And I've got state. All right, let's make these a little bit wider. And let's give each of these text boxes a good name because we're going to be referring to these values. Right Right now, they're just text 0, text 2, text 4, and so on. Let's open up the property sheet. You can double click on it or you can right click and go to properties. The property sheet and find the name control. All right, and I'll call this first name, same as on the table. You might see some people call it TXT last name, but I don't usually use that TXT. Just a matter of personal preference. All right, city and state. All right, so there's my four unbound text boxes on my little form. I'll save this form. I'll just call it my search form. Search F for search form. So I'll be using it to search for records. Now, close your form and open it back up again, and you'll see it's just blank. It's just sitting there. And, yeah, we could turn off all these record selectors and navigation buttons and all that stuff. We don't need all that. But I just want to have it open and sitting here for now. Now, this form will have to be open and working for the query that we're going to build next to work to find its values. So let's create a query that we're going to use to read in these values and limit our list of data. All right, so create query design. Now, I've got two tables in this database because I used it for a different example for another video. But we just want customer T, our customer table. And then I can click on close. All right, there's our blank query. Now, I'm going to bring in each of these fields individually. I don't need the tech ID for now. So just bring in first name, last name, city, and state. And if I run the query, you can see there's all of my records. Now, to limit these values based on a value on a form, we use this kind of notation. Right in here, we say equals forms, the name of our form. There's search F. It pops right up in Access 2010. It's real nice in giving you that. Search F and then exclamation point and then what field? Well, in this case, we want first name. All right. I love this. In older versions of Access, you had to sometimes go back to your form and see oh, what was the name of it. But in 2010, it gives you that nicely. All right. We'll just do this one field for now. All right, this says first name has to be equal to forms, search F, first name. All right, let's save this. I'll save this as my search queue, my search query. 
Okay, and if I run it right now, if I run the query, you can see I got nothing. That's because I said that first name has to be equal to whatever this value is, and right now this value is blank. Okay, so if I put a Joe in here, in first name, and then run my query, look at that. I see Joe. I'm seeing all the records where first name is equal to whatever's in this box. Okay, that's the easy part so far. I also want to make it so that if this is blank, I see all the records. In other words, the user's not specifying, show them all. Okay, so come in here, back into our query. All right, we'll go back to design view. And instead of saying equal, I want to use the like keyword. So get rid of the equal sign and put the like in there, like. And then inside of quotes, put an asterisk. That's a wildcard character that says any number of characters, I don't care followed by an ampersand all right that says tack this following thing on and at the end of it put another ampersand and another wildcard character that says show me any characters followed by whatever happens to be here followed by any characters and just to demonstrate in notepad what happens is this gets assembled like this access says okay like star joe star for example so show me all the records that include the word joe Okay, if I put a Kate in there, it'll look like this. Okay, if that's blank, it'll look like this, which is the same thing as saying, show me all the records. All right, that's where the like keyword comes in handy. So now, save my query. Close the query down. Go back to your search form. I'm going to throw a little button down here, just using the wizard to run that query for me. Now, you could use the query to feed a report. I'm not going to actually build a report but you can use whatever results come out of this query to feed a report. But I'll just open the query here. So I'll go to Design View, find a Command button, drop a Command button down here. It's under Miscellaneous, and then Run Query. Next, Search Queue is the only one I've got. All right, Run Query, put text on there. Next, Command 8 is fine. So now I've got a button to run that query for me instead of having to open it and close it and open it and close it. All right, save the form, close it. I'm going to reopen it again. Now, if I run the query now, I get all the values. Okay, because it says like, whatever that field is, star that star inside. So now I'll change this to Joe. Run my query. There's just Joe. See that? I could put a J in here, run the query, and I'll see all names with just a J. All right, what else we got for records here? How about an O? Let's put an O in here. And I'll see all the customers who have an O in their first name. All right. Now, if you want to limit this to more than one field, go back to Design View. Take this and then go Copy, Tab, Paste, 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 and just change your field names. All right. This is going to be last name. All right. This one is going to be city. And the last one over here is going to be state. All right, save the query. Now I'm going to close the form and reopen it. All right. If I run the query now, I should see all the records. If I say city has got to be Buffalo, B-U-F, run the query, there's my two customers from Buffalo. If I say it's got to be Buffalo... And it's got to be a Smith. I'll put an SMI in here. There's my Smiths from Buffalo. So you see, this will narrow down your results by whatever criteria you specify. And that is how you make a simple search form using unbound text boxes, using the like keyword in your queries. Now, there are tons of additional options that you can do here. Obviously, you can specify and versus or. You can use combo boxes so the user can select from a list of values. You can actually scrap the whole building and underlying query thing and build the SQL directly. And I show all of these concepts in my SQL and my search form seminars that I have available on my website. The SQL seminars are available now. The search form seminar will be out in early May 2011. 
and I cover this and tons more techniques on setting up various types of search forms and search buttons in your Access databases. Now, of course, remember, you can run this query and then take this, these query results here and feed this into a report. So this doesn't have to be just a query. Or you can even open up another form that shows you just those records. There's lots you can do with Access. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on building a multi-field search form. For more lessons just like this one, visit my website at accesslearningzone.com.